everyone, Horse Crazy here, and I have some great news, providing this actually works the way it's supposed to. A lot of people had been asking me about the texture pack for Simply Horses, and and when I had installed it, I had not had as much trouble with it as everyone else had. Uh, the only thing that caused trouble for me was Optifine, but I have realized that for most of you that is not the case. So I had done some digging around, and I found hopefully, a great way to change the texture pack and the mod, and it's very simple. So that way you can also use other texture packs and still have the other colors of Simply Horses. So, first off, open up your Minecraft, your Minecraft folder. Um, if you're going to do a lot of mods and installation stuff, I recommend putting a shortcut on your desktop. I have done that and it works very well. I actually have to change something here first. I was fiddling around with the snapshot, so I just have to change this so it's not going to work. Okay. Alrighty, so I want you to go into your mods folder in your Minecraft. So Minecraft, mods, and open up Simply Horses. So then you will get this whole beautiful uh, thing. Everything says Entity, Render, etc. There's a little folder here that says Simply Horses. If you click on it, there's two folders. There's Mobs, and there's Items. If you open up the Mobs, you will see that there's only one Arabian, one Clydesdale, one Mustang, one Stallion, and one Foal, as well as the Saddle, and two textures that aren't even used yet. So, if you want the texture pack, all the different horses, you need the texture pack. So you go to the form page, and you download... Okay, so if you go to the form page, and you scroll down on the first page, you will eventually find some banners right here. Go past the banners, and then it says Rando Mobs Texture Packs, quote. Um, there's one called Beautiful Pack. This is the one I use. Because the horses are kind of, you can get quite a few different colors. I have not tried this one yet, which is the second one. It's called Amazing Pack. I haven't tried it out yet because I've heard a lot of people that say this first one is better. So you go to Download Pack and you click right there. Okay, and it will automatically take you to Mediafire and then you download. It's called Sends Textures. It has vanilla block textures, in case people are wondering, I will repeat it again. All the blocks are still vanilla textures. It's the horses of the Simply Horses mod that are changed. So if you don't have the mod installed, it's just going to look like the default texture pack. So download that, I already have. So open up, I'm going to open up my other, another uh, Minecraft window thing here and go to your texture packs or to wherever you have your Simply Horses pack saved. So I had renamed mine for simplicity. So you open it up and all the texture pack has is another folder in it, Simply Horses and then Simply Horses mobs and then it has all the skins for let's see there are 52 different Arabians Thirty, forty, fifty-two different saddles. Um, how many Clydesdales are there? Let's see here. Thirty-two different Clydesdales, seven different foals, and then there are how many Mustangs? Come on now. There are over 70 different kinds, oh there's 80 in total, 80 different uh, Mustang textures, and then 7 stallions. So, you select all of those, and I'm going to copy them, and then you go to your Simply Horses mob, or er, mob, uh, bleh. go to your mod folder again, and open up Simply Horses. And go into, whoa, where to go? 
I want you to go into Simply Horses, into Mobs, and you are going to paste those all into that folder. So now you have all those textures in from the texture pack. Close the texture pack, close this, close that, close this, and I'm going to test my game here. No, oh, whoops, wait, huh? And I actually need to delete that texture pack, simply horses, but I'm just gonna cut it, move it out here for now. Okay? So, in all theory, that should work. So far, so good. So what that does is that just takes the textures from the texture pack, puts them right into the mod, and so in theory, you should be able to use any other texture pack now with your Simply Horses and still have all your Simply Horses textures. So I'm going to go into there. That might mess up the horse colors I already had. If so, that is fine. I'm just going to zap it to daytime here. Get rid of the rain so it brightens up a bit. Okay, so good news, it works. So I have all these different ho horses here. I have my Clydesdales over here, which so far seem to be in the same color they were before. And then all my Arabians are over here. And they seem to be in the same colors as they were before. So I'm going to go into my barn and double check that this is working. Okay. Gray Valor. Alright. And it looks like it's working the way it's supposed to be. Great. Okay. So, to show you that you can also use this with other textures now, I'm going to go into my options. I have Optifine installed. Now, it tends to cause havoc with your texture packs. So, just beware. And I'm going to go and change this. Here, let's just say I'm going to change it to John Smith, just because it's a fairly simple texture pack. I'll go back to my game. Come on. Done, done, done. And voila! All my horses are still the same. This is amazing. I'm really disappointed that I didn't figure this out beforehand um, to help you guys out, but this... I love this. This is a great way to fix that texture pack. Um, she should just implement this entirely. And then that way... So that's going to work with any texture pack. Now, to be honest, I don't really like the way this texture pack makes this map look. Ah, my gate's open. So I'm just going to go and change it to a different texture pack again, just to show you guys. Whoops. Texture pack, hmm. Let's go with this one. This one's a 32 by 32 texture pack. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but it's one of those fancy realism packs. Come on. And again, my horses are still the same. I don't like this texture pack with my map either. But the horses are still the same, and all the other block textures are different. So, uh, let me know if this works, because I really want to hear the feedback from you guys about... Because I was getting rather frustrated as well, along with you guys, because you had been telling me that it wasn't working, and what I had been suggesting before wasn't working either. So we just kept going back and forth, and then finally... I decided to look into it a bit more, and I did, and this is what I found.